it actually happened naturally. Uh, some, some, some famous uh, sportsmen said that they were an overnight success that took 17 years. Well, we're maybe not an overnight success, but we're a success that took 20 years in the making. So basically, over the 20 years, we worked with customers, protecting them at different levels. And as the cyber attacks have accelerated, we had to come up with faster and faster methods to, to discover and, and counter the attacks. And working with different experts, we realized that all these best of breed tools that we've been working with were missing some connective tissue. And one of the analogies that I use comes from 9-11. Now, I'm sure that if you were around at 9-11, 2001, you remember exactly where you were. I mean, this was a day that people tend to remember. And um, just, just think about it, where you were. And this was a really big deal. But what was interesting is right the next day, we had a ton of information that the newspapers were able to publish the whole list of hijackers, who they were, where they were from, a bunch of information about them. So how is it possible that we knew everything about them and they still could uh, execute on their evil plan? Well, it turns out that the reason we had so, so much information about them is because the FBI had a dossier on them, the CIA had a dossier on them, and even local law enforcement had a dossier on some of them because they had encounters with them. They just couldn't connect the dots. And why couldn't they connect the dots? Simply because these agencies were not designed to talk to each other. So it's very similar. In cybersecurity, we have these best of breed tools that are very, very good at what they're doing, but they're not designed to talk to each other. And that's also kind of normal because if you think about it, a cop that makes a traffic stop, you don't expect that cop to be a specialist in the data model of the CIA database and be able to suddenly look up in the CIA database the person that they're talking to, is there anything there going on? They would need to be an analyst for that and that's not their job. They're doing a good job for what they're specialized in and you can't expect them to have a different specialty, a bunch of specialties. And the same thing, the FBI you know, has their own focus and, and you can't expect FBI analysts to, to be the same way as a CIA analyst. So the way the government solved it, and they created the Department of Homeland Security. And the Department of Homeland Security has specialists that what they're good at is to look at these different databases and then be able to direct and, and communicate with them two ways, collect data, connect the dots, and then give the right pertinent information. So that then when the cop who makes the traffic stop, he actually has received from the FBI what's relevant to his job, and then he can do his job better. And that underpinning was missing from cybersecurity. And then that's basically what we created. Now, when I say it was missing, it's not that nobody has thought about it. We, we had conversations with a number of CISOs, chief information security officers and CIOs of large multi-billion dollar companies. And some of them had programs where they custom built solutions that actually executed that. The problem with their custom built solutions though was that custom built solutions often you know, become a bigger pain to maintain and actually tend to increase your attack surface. So you have a solution to help you with your cybersecurity problem, problem that makes your cybersecurity problem worse. It gives you great results, but it also increases your attack footprint. So at the end of the day, we basically worked with some of these experts and we created the underpinning. And we're just basically providing these best of breed tools the ability to connect the dots and to be able to feed you know you feed your threat hunting team you feed your vulnerability management team you feed your um, compliance team so you basically can can connect these dots you you get information from them and as, as, as an end result you have side effects that that are incredible we didn't actually intend to build an inventory management system in the beginning but we realized very quickly that we were able, through connecting the dots, to get the most accurate inventory dynamically in real time that an organization can have. And then we started having clients that say, we actually want to use you guys just for our inventory management already because you have real time the best data that exists out there for our company. And that's basically so. So it just happened by chance. You know, we just got lucky to, to get all this um, all this information, all these uh, uh, all these conversations with these experts, 
and in the interaction with them build a tool that really answers this, this missing piece that exists in cybersecurity.